all you fabulous females out there. This is Louise Fennell coming to you from MMTV in Melrose. And my guest today will be the Lori. And she is the director of the Saga Senior Center, a very wonderful senior center. Would you just introduce yourself, Lori, and then we'll get on to it. Sure. My name is Laurie Davis. I am the director of the Saga Senior Center. I've been with the Senior Center 20, almost 23 years, but I've been the director for almost two as of July 1st. And I also have with me my assistant, my very fabulous assistant, Lynette Terrazano. Mm. And Lynette's been with the Senior Center how long? It's been 18 years. 18 years. Yeah, and I've been your assistant for just the last two. Right. Oh, great. Okay, well, could you tell us a little bit about how you got started with, I mean, I don't know, I don't picture little girls growing up to say I want to be the director of a senior center. So how did that come about? (laughs) Well, um, like I said, I've been with the center for 23 years. I got started here as a bookkeeper. A friend of mine, um, her mom worked for the town hall and said, I, I had three children at the time, and they were in school, and she said, are you looking for any part-time work? And I said, sure, just part-time because I'm a mom, and she said, I have a perfect job for you. Mm. So I applied. I started as a bookkeeper. Uh-huh. I was probably bookkeeper for nine years, mm-hmm. and then I shared the dual role of outreach worker where we um, did outreach in the community. We visited houses and Um, went to different people's um, functions for delivering food and all that. Um, And I held that position for a few years. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I I was the former director, Joanne Olson. I became her admin assistant, and I was her admin for probably 11 years. Uh And when she said she was going to retire, I said, oh, Okay, well, I think I'm going to apply for her job, and I got it, and here we are. (laughs) Okay, great. Wow. Now, do you have a staff? We have an 11-person staff. Wow. And with that that is, again, Lynette Lynette is my assistant. Then Mm -hmm. we have a bookkeeper slash trip coordinator. Uh We have an an outreach worker, a transportation clerk. A front desk receptionist. Wow. We have two van drivers, and we have three people that work in the kitchen. Oh, oh wow, that's great! Yes. Uh huh. Yes. And who comes up with all the great ideas? Uh, Lynette and I together. We we plan all the events. Uh huh. <laughs> yes. Yep. We like huh? to we like to party over here at the Saga Senior Center. Oh, good! <laughs> yeah, we throw a party at least one party um, each month. You do? Wow, mm-hmm. that's great! And what are your hours? We're open Monday through Friday, uh-huh. eight 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 thirty to three for uh-huh. the public. But we are here from eight to three thirty. Uh huh. Okay. Great. Wow. And I noticed I, I got your flyer um, the other day just to take a look. And I noticed you have a lot of trips. Um, are they like booked through tour groups or something? Or how does yeah. So uh, so we have a trip coordinator, but we actually deal with uh, Cheryl Toby from all around New England. Uh-huh. She is in charge of all of our trips, but we We'll direct her as um, give out her flyers, and they leave out of our senior center. Mm-hmm. But she's in charge of all the financials and booking all of those trips. Oh. We just um, we just help her with, you know, and it's easy access for the seniors here to leave from the center. Uh huh. Okay. And can someone who doesn't live in Saugus join your senior center? Anyone can join our center. The only thing that any surrounding town, the only thing we have here for the seniors Mm -hmm. is our gym. We have a small gym with probably five treadmills, three rowing machines, and I'm sorry, three exercise bikes and two rowing machines. Uh Uh-huh. And And then, of course, our transportation. Only Saugus residents can use our transportation. 
Oh, oh, I wasn't yeah. aware of that. Uh, yeah. For instance, I, I thought I had spoken to someone one day and she said if I could get myself into sagas that I could then call you and you would pick me up as long as I was within the sagas. Not true? If you, if you live in sagas, yes. So I guess if you wanted to be, if you needed a ride to the senior center and if you were at a sagas location, we could pick you up. Could. But we could okay. bring you back home to that same location. We couldn't bring you back home to a Revere address. Right, yeah. Okay. Now, what, what I was wondering about is, like, I'm actually in Melrose, um, but I can get the ride. So if I could get the ride into a coffee shop in Saugus or something, then I could go to the Saugus Senior Center, right? Yes. Uh-huh. We could pick you up at the car. We don't, we don't clown a part. I mean, we don't at, promote, promote that, but okay. uh, and just, we try to keep it to Saugus residents. You do. Okay. All right. Understandable. Sure. Yeah. You do some great things, though, like the Delvina Theater Group and um, some of your lunches and some of your classes uh, yeah. really appeal to me. Um, okay. So how about listing some of the things that you actually have there? I know you've got some great activities and some yeah. lectures. So I, I have my calendar here for June. Okay. I'll just... Um, Yesterday was a great day here, actually. We had a pen pal program with the fourth grade students at ah. the Belmont East Middle School. Uh-huh. And yesterday we had our pen pal pizza party where our pen pal, senior pen pals met their students that they have been writing to um, all year long. Oh. Um, that was a great event. I uh-huh. actually just sent a whole bunch of pictures to the newspaper. I hope they, they get in there because the kids did a great job. Uh-huh. And the seniors put a lot of time into writing back and forth. So Uh-oh. that was great. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. But just looking on Mondays, every Monday we have quilting in the morning. We have a quilting group mm-hmm. who actually on um, the end of May did a quilt show for us. Mm-hmm. On um, It was beautiful. I think 20 quilts were on display. Wow. Um, yeah, it was a great show. Uh-huh. Uh, we have men's cards. We have Mahjong every Monday, uh-uh. and we have cheer yoga with Cindy Gray. She uh-huh. does cheer yoga at 1 o'clock on Mondays and Thursdays. Mm. Oh. We have a book club. Uh-huh. Yes. And my assistant is telling me, Lynette is saying, don't forget, it's $5. <laughs> All right, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. How do you decide? I know some things are $5 and some things are free. How is that determined? So the things that are free, we usually can get a sponsor for. Okay. Um, and if it's a volunteer position, it's free. Uh-huh. Uh, the the programs that are paid, um, the, like Cindy, she gets paid. She gets a fee from the, uh, to do her class. Mm-hmm. So we have to charge her. I mean, uh, we have to charge her students to pay uh, her. Sure. Right. Yeah. 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 That's uh, understandable. Well, mostly all of our exercise classes have a fee. So our comes oh. alive and our weightlifting and our cheer yoga, they, uh-huh. they all have that $5 fee. But there is a um, an instructor, Valerie, who also does weightlifting. She does she volunteers for an exercise class that is free for the seniors, and that's at 8.45 on Wednesdays and Fridays. Uh-huh. So that's a free exercise class. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right, yeah. Oh, that sounds great. And how do you have, like, a date for say, Saugus residents can sign up a little sooner than outside people? Yes. So we actually just implemented that at the beginning of the year because Mm -hmm. before it was anyone can come the first day. But the Saugus residents were getting a little upset that sometimes we had a wait list for, you know, and it's their their senior center. Sure, yeah. uh, As of January, we we signed up that you, um, the first day of the month, whether Mm -hmm. it be, if the first falls on a Sunday, then it would be the second day. Mm -hmm. Um, So I guess residents can buy their tickets. Uh Uh-huh. The second day is open to anybody. (laughs) Oh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. Yeah, I actually, I'm in Melrose, but I belong to Red Hatters, and we've been coming to some of the uh, Delvina 
in particular. Mm-hmm. Um, and a few others came to lunch, which was very good. Um, and uh, but I know we ha- yeah we didn't sign up right away. We had to wait till Saugus yeah. residents had signed, which makes sense. You know, yeah, I can certainly. And it's understand. only one day, so. Um, the, the, and it, it really only becomes a problem, it, it usually doesn't become a problem, but there's one entertainer that everybody loves, his name is Alan LaBella, so usually there may be a wait list. But generally speaking, most people can get into all the events, I would say, wouldn't you? Mm-hmm. Yes, we've upped yeah. the count. We, we try to keep it, because, you know, the you've seen our room. Oh, it, yeah. it can hold up 150 people comfortably, Right. but then... Right. We don't have the parking for 150 people, so they'll park <laughs> up and down the street. Yeah. And our volunteers, our our meals are served to their table, um, so our volunteers work very hard uh-huh. to get the meals out to them. So, you know, when we have 150 50 people, mm-hmm. they sleep well that night because they're really hustling to get the food out to everybody. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, I noticed... Your food seems to be really good. Um, is it actually cooked there, or is it brought in? No, we have a caterer service, and it's called Trio, and it is brought in every morning. And ah. I believe Trio is located in Mubin. So uh-huh. they drive it from Mubin mm-hmm. to here. And um, Michelle in the kitchen, she mm-hmm. is the manager in there. She tries to keep it as warm and as unsoggy as possible. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I I sort of had a mindset of that I didn't like seeing the center food, um, but I found that it was very good. Uh, my own senior do. center does a great job too. <laughs> yeah, uh, I I think us, most of our meals are pretty good. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. They really are. Yeah. Um, so do you have um, many ongoing courses, you know, like Tai Chi and um, is yes. there a balance so as, course? Yep. Every Wednesday at 11, uh, I'm sorry, 10 o'clock, we have a Tai Chi class and that's uh, very good for balance. Uh-huh. Uh, once in a while, we'll have a presentation. Stephanie from Tufts will come in and she'll do a balance class. I try to have one presentation a month. Uh-huh. Sometimes it's two or three, mm-hmm. um, but it's different presentations. This month we have Heather from um, Blue Cross Blue Shield, and she's doing health plan options. Mm. Uh, and then we have a nutrition education presentation on the 17th. Oh. So we they get mixed. Yeah, we get um, different presentations different months. Uh-huh. We, we work a lot with the Saugus Elk, the Saugus mm-hmm. Everett Elk. Yeah. Um, they're really into the um, drug awareness presentations and mm-hmm. the scam presentations. Mm-hmm. Uh, they've come and done a lot with that. And they're actually working with us to do a health fair come October. Okay. And something that just popped into my head, I think you have um, a course on how to use your iPhone and possibly yeah. a computer. You do. Yes, okay. we have a gentleman whose name is Kevin Figaro, uh-huh. and his company is called KevTech. Mm-hmm. He is paid out of a grant. Oh. Um, because he's paid out of a grant, it is free to people that come here. Anyone can come. Uh-huh. Um, and he comes once a month, every third Tuesday. And it is limited because he, you know, is one, well, he's actually been bringing an assistant with him, but he wants to give that personal time, so it's it is limited to 15 people in mm-hmm. his class. Is it limited to, does, is it limited to Saugus residents? Nope. Anyone can come to that. A seen, any senior can come to that. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's something that I found that um, a lot of people I know could use a little help <laughs> with their phones. Yeah. yeah myself included. Is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you know, I had trouble getting you. <laughs> That's okay. We all we figured that all out. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. Um, well, wow, our time is almost gone. Um, do you have anything in particular that you would like to tell people that I haven't thought of asking you? 
Um, I'd like to say, you know, um, any seniors that would like to celebrate their birthday, we do a birthday celebration at the end of the month. And this has grown by leaps and bounds because who doesn't like to celebrate their birthday? Sure. It's the it's the um, last Friday of the month, uh-huh. and it's free to anybody that you know. It's their mm-hmm. birthday. You have to be a senior. Uh huh. Um, and it's and what age is? Stuff. Sorry, is senior sixty, sixty two? What? Sixty. Fifty. Six. Okay. Six 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 zero. Six. six. Okay. Yes. Thank you. I'm uh, old. <laughs> no, that's okay. Uh, so that's flown by leaps and bounds, and they get a free lunch, and uh-huh. they get cake and ice cream, and they get um, a group picture is taken, and we print one out for everybody to have as a souvenir. Oh, wow. That sounds yeah. very nice. Uh-huh. That's, a fun, that's a fun day. Oh, yeah. It sounds like it is. Well, great. That's good. Okay. I really thank you very much for all the information and I hope that some of you fabulous females out there are listening and might consider popping over to Saugus once in a while um, I'm broadcasting from Melrose so you know, but um, Great. you know I'd like to, like people to know that there are other senior centers that offer things that we don't have too okay, okay. so I well, hope thank you You're welcome. Thank you so much for all your information. And I hope that all you fabulous females out there have enjoyed this and have a wonderful day. Bye now. 